Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and that is this absolutely tiny circuit for drop-down chandelier lighting. Now recently I did a video on this concept, showcasing what drop-down chandelier lighting was, and you lot seemed to really enjoy it. Most of you were requesting a tutorial. But since I have done that video, a bunch of YouTubers went out there and came up with far better designs than the one that I had, so I decided that I would do a tutorial on one of those. The one that you can see in front of you was done by Purple Dragon Nuke, who is a fantastic redstoner, and I would highly suggest checking him out. His design is brilliant, so let's take a closer look at it. The dimensions of this build are 4x5x7, which is absolutely tiny, especially compared to my original design, but it works exactly the same. As you can see, the glowstone gets sucked back up, and then the block is replaced in the ceiling, so it's nice and flush. And then if we do the extension, it's quite nice and quick. Now the way that he's done it is slightly different to mine, whereas my one used a triple piston extender, his uses a double piston extender with some fan dangle piston movements, and I'll get onto those in the tutorial. Speaking of the tutorial, how about we crack on with that one? So you want to get things started with a 5x7 area, and as you can see, this middle block here is the one that is going to be switched out, so that's just something to bear in mind. But anyway, what you want to do is place a regular piston on either side like that, and then a sticky piston facing into the middle. You want to take out this block here, and just go down underneath and place a sticky piston facing downwards, and also another sticky piston facing downwards above it like that. Then you can take out all the temporary blocks and replace the block that you've placed in the floor. But anyway, that is the piston layout. That is what it will look like. Now it's time to do the circuitry. The first thing that you want to do is head over to this piston here and place a block one block away from it. This is going to be your input block. On the back of it you want to place a redstone torch with a block like this and just create this sort of V-shape with a repeater running straight into that block. Then you want to place some redstone dust, another repeater, set it to four ticks running into a block with a torch on top and then another block here with another redstone torch and then a block up like this. Then you want to carry out all of these blocks so that they are above your input. You want to place down a repeater, set it to one tick or just on the default and then three repeaters all set to four ticks running into a sticky piston facing downwards with a redstone power block on its face and that will be your little abogate. Then next to this block here you want to place two pieces of redstone dust, a repeater and then another piece of redstone dust. Then over here you want to place another piece of redstone dust and three blocks going up like this in a nice little staircase with redstone going all the way up to the top. Then you want to place a repeater down here with a block like this, redstone dust on the top because we're going to use that later. Another repeater, set it to four ticks running into a block that is next to this piston. Then you want to head over to this block here, place two blocks along and then a block up like this, a block on top of this sticky piston and a block like that. Grab your repeaters and place one, set it to four ticks and the other set to three ticks. Yeah, that's, that's three ticks, there we go. And then you want to place some redstone dust on either one of these, a redstone torch on the side of this block and then a half slab with redstone dust on the top and a block with more redstone dust on the top. Then you want to head underneath, grab a repeater, set it to two ticks, and that is going to be running into this block. Then you want to head back over to your orange circuit and place a block running off it like this, with a repeater running straight into a sticky piston with a block on top, and then a block running out of there with a repeater running into this line. So that is the blue circuit done, now it's time to move on to the last one. Before we move on, I just want to say that you quickly want to head down to the bottom here and place your glowstone in between this regular piston and the extended one here, and that is on this side. So you should have the torch, the orange circuit, and then most of the blue circuit on this side. That is where the glowstone goes. But anyway, now you want to head over to this redstone torch right here, place a block up like that with a repeater running straight into a monostable circuit, and then you're going to take an output from this all the way down, redstone dust like this, and then a repeater running into that extended piston. Now you have to remember that during the retraction process, there will be a block in front of that repeater, which will allow us to retract the final block. Now you want to head back over to your monostable circuit, 
and place a couple of blocks up like this and then run blocks along like that with redstone dust on top of all of those. A repeater set it to three ticks running straight into a block and then you want to replace this repeater here with redstone dust because it made a little bit of a mistake there. But anyway, now what you want to do, here comes the moment of truth, is you want to flick the lever and you should see that you get the full extension and then when you flick the lever again, we also get the full retraction. So that is your chandelier lighting all done, finished, complete. And it looks pretty good, doesn't it? But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for for today. So if you thought this contraption was really cool, then I would highly suggest checking out Purple Dragon Nuke. A link to his YouTube channel will be down in the description. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.